Edith Stein was born in Breslau, Germany, on the 12th of October 1891, the youngest of 11, as her family were celebrating Yom Kippur, that most important Jewish festival, the Feast of Atonement. Edith's father, who ran a timber business, died when she had only just turned two. Her mother, a very devout, hard-working, strong-willed and truly wonderful woman, now had to fend for herself and to look after the family and their large business. Edith lost her faith in God. I consciously decided, of my own volition, to give up praying, she said. In 1913, Edith Stein transferred to Göttingen University, to study under the mentorship of Edmund Husserl. She became his pupil and teaching assistant, and he later tutored her for a doctorate. Husserl's phenomenology unwittingly led many of his pupils to the Christian faith. In 1916, she followed Husserl as his assistant to the German city of Freiburg, where she passed her doctorate summa cum laude, with the utmost distinction, in 1917, after writing a thesis on The Problem of Empathy. One evening Edith picked up an autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila and read this book all night. When I had finished the book, I said to myself, this is the truth. In January 1922 Edith Stein was baptized. I had given up practicing my Jewish religion when I was a 14-year-old girl and did not begin to feel Jewish again until I had returned to God. Immediately after her conversion she wanted to join a Carmelite convent. In 1933 darkness broke out over Germany. The Aryan law of the Nazis made it impossible for Edith Stein to continue teaching. Edith joined the Carmelite convent of Cologne on the 14th of October, and her investiture took place on the 15th of April, 1934. Edith Stein was now known as Sister Teresa Benedicta Acruce, Teresa, Blessed of the Cross. When she made her eternal profession on the 21st of April 1938, she had the words of St. John of the Cross printed on her devotional picture, Henceforth my only vocation is to love. Edith Stein was arrested by the Gestapo on the 2nd of August 1942. This was together with her sister Rosa, who had also converted and was serving at the convent. Her last words to be heard were addressed to Rosa, Come, we are going for our people. Together with many other Jewish Christians, the two women were taken to a transit camp in Amersfoort and then to Westerbork. This was an act of retaliation against the letter of protest written by the Dutch Roman Catholic bishops in support of the Jews. Edith commented, I never knew that people could be like this, neither did I know that my brothers and sisters would have to suffer like this. I pray for them every hour. Will God hear my prayers? He will certainly hear them in their distress. On the 7th of August, early in the morning, 987 Jews were deported to Auschwitz. It was probably on the 9th of August that Sister Teresia Benedicta Acruce, her sister, Rosa, and many other of her people were gassed. When Edith Stein was beatified in Cologne on the 1st of May 1987, the church honored, a daughter of Israel, as Pope John Paul II put it, who, as a Catholic during Nazi persecution, remained faithful to the crucified Lord Jesus Christ and, as a Jew, to her people in loving faithfulness. St. Edith Stein's feast day is August 9th. She is the patron saint of converts to Christianity and of Europe. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.